Back in the mid 20th century, Bert Exter was a mover and a shaker in Albuquerque. Now his granddaughter is trying to revive his legacy with a special honor. News 13's Kayla Ayers has that story. You've probably never heard or seen his name. Albert James Exter, he was known as Bert Exter. And it's not really easy to track down any information about him. If you Google it, you're not probably going to find it very easily. But Bert Exter was very involved and very influential in the early to mid 20th century in Albuquerque. He came to the city during the outbreak of Spanish influenza and lived and worked here until his death in 1963. The longtime funeral director was also a civic leader, president of the Lions Club on the board of the Chamber of Commerce, the Salvation Army, and the list goes on. He started the first air ambulance service. He um, was the prime mover behind the establishment of the airport, uh, the first municipal golf course. He was um, very active. His granddaughter, Lori Mann, says Exter never ran for office, saying he preferred working in the background, making things happen. When Exter died 50 years ago, though, his name sort of died with him. Now Mann is hoping to breathe new life into the name Bert Exter by either highlighting his name on a green sign for everyone to see, that's right, an Albuquerque street named Bert Exter, or maybe his name could be etched on a park sign. He loved the city and he, he served the people of Albuquerque honestly and well. And it just seems appropriate to have a street named after him or a park. Mann says she hopes to see her grandfather honored before his name and works are forgotten. Kayla Ayers, KRQE News 13. Well, Lori Mann tells us, new, tells us she contacted the city a few months back about getting a street named after her grandfather. Well,